What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Lee, the Warlord, and we are back for season six. Let's do this. So I'm um, just going to start off getting all my rewards, and then we will hop straight into doing these summons. So I didn't hit Z full Z5, uh, so we didn't get full rewards, but we definitely are kitted up when it comes to... Nice, we got a lot of gifts. When it comes to, like, uh, TP tokens, so I'm not too worried. I'm going to go immediately buy the Raider, get that level up, and then, you know, survivor skins and everything like that. But yeah, the fact that they're charging us damn near 1,500 TP tokens for fucking one new survivor skin is disgusting, y'all. That is absolutely sickening. So uh, let's go ahead and buy Raider Baby and the Survivor skins. And then um, I'm going to buy the voice lines and maybe some new drip. And then we will hit up the summons and we'll start doing summons. Before we get into the summons, I want to go over Raider Baby's kit. There's that new change right there. You can rotate people. The skills for level one, move to infected. It'll just let you swap to another infected civilian. If the camera is facing an infected civilian, it swaps to them. Otherwise, it swaps with the nearest infected civilian. Cannot be used if they're no if there are no infected civilians we will see which is best to actually like level up uh deceive survivors by using an infected civilian's voice to call for help infect and you can't level oh you can't power it up at all okay this one attacks and infects survivors and civilians must be close enough to the target and this is an instant down so this must have been what they were using to actually down people okay 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 um, infecting survivors and civilians and planting eggs increases evolution energy. Evolution energy is also increased when an infected civilian attacks a survivor. We're obviously going to be leveling this up. This is how you get out of your level one the fastest. Uh, infected survivors become unable to use one random active skill. And you can't level that up, so no brainer there. Hides inside the civilian's body to avoid being attacked by survivors after a certain length of time is passed or there are no longer any uninfected civilians, you move to Vegeta's body, and you can't power that up. Okay, so you have an auto-evolve as well. So I'm wondering how long it takes for that auto-evolve to actually kick in. Um, we can definitely do some tests to see, but we are leveling... We're, we're maxing this out first, for sure. So once we hit level 21, we will have it fully maxed out. Shield barrier. So you get one get off me right here. It's pretty much Brawly's barrier, and it knocks people back. You get another get off me right here. This is just Vegeta's explosive wave. Then you can call your servants. Uh, this summons the servants. You can't power this skill up, so that's fine. Then your wild buster is a charge move, but it's like a combo charge move, and this is sick. I think he keeps this only at level two though which is unfortunate servants stay on the map and attack survivors until they themselves are attacked if a servant gets caught up in an area's destruction they will retreat and become available again so they stay out until essentially they're defeated or destroyed in area destruction so keep that in mind but they come back it's not like you just lose them okay so this is a carryover from his level one so yeah this is definitely the no-brainer to upgrade first Plant egg, it can't, you can't upgrade it. Your mind and control now, you can't upgrade this either. But if a survivor has been defeated twice without being revived, uh, or if you finish off a survivor, you can call and control that body. So these can't be upgraded. So these, it's it's a no-brainer what you should focus on upgrading first. It's definitely this uh, carryover passive from level one. Yeah, and it goes all the way into level three. Look at how sexy this outfit is. Look at that, look at that. Oh my goodness. Anyway, changes the Shinron wish give me even greater power to give me supreme power, then restores a certain amount of HP and triggers the Great Ape transformation. Okay, so you just get more HP when you level up to Great Ape. So this is, I'm not going to upgrade this at all, just like Vegeta. All three of these carry over as well. So your main level up strats are going to be this. So that's 20. 40, 60, 80, and then probably leveling up either Wild Buster or Reverse Shot. Uh, we'll see which one you get more cooldown off of, but um, that's for another video at another time. And then his level four. I really love this color. 
I don't know if this, I, this is just his basic color. Baby looks sick. Baby looks fucking sick, dude. I wonder if the civilian clothes will change based off the color as well, but we shall see. We shall see. Oh, I forgot to show the super attacks. So we have finish level one. He doesn't have anything. We have finish breaker at level two along with big bang attack. I mean, that looks more like a final flash, but uh, anyway, condenses key gathered in your entire body fires, powerful key blast, generates medium sized explosion, similar, but different from Vegeta's technique. Okay. That's why uh, Then we have revenge death ball and then revenge final flash. Okay. Yeah. And then su super monkey beam and then super monkey stomp. And then without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these summons y'all. We'll start out with the tickets, then we'll go Zenny, and then we'll finish it off with the TP token. So let's see if we can get W luck in this one. Um, I'm 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 gonna go ahead and just skip all these animations. And we'll just go through here. Not looking good so far. Oh shit! Okay, we got we at least got Super Saiyan 3 though. So at the very least, we got Super Saiyan 3. I don't think he comes with a new super attack. Uh, we could check that out after we're done with the summons, but we did get the new transfer at the very least, so W for that. And, um, you know what? After the summons are over, we might as well run into practice and test out the new transfer as well. Uh, so, okay, they just, they, they gave us, I, I don't know why that Bardock is even that high of a fucking star or whatever it's called um but yeah we'll go in we'll check out the new transfer and if we pull the new dragon fist active skill we'll check that out as well all right we didn't get it there we have enough for one multi summon with zenny and then 10 more multi summons with tp tokens so hopefully we don't have to uh bust out the good old z or i'm sorry i almost said any again hopefully we don't have to bust out the good old wallet let's see i'd be very unfortunate as much money as i've already spent all like overall on tp tokens dude like it, it would suck if we just can't okay warp kamehameha i'm interested to actually see what all skills yeah no so he doesn't have any new super attacks which is unfortunate um I was going to say, what all super attacks that Super Saiyan 3 Goku can use, but it looks like um, he doesn't, at the very least, he doesn't get any new ones. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and skip all this, skip all this nonsense. All right. Yeah. I mean, we're getting, like I said, I've always, and I always say this, I never have the problem pulling the unit. It's always if the unit has an active skill or a uh, passive skill that I have a problem with. The unit in the super attacks, I'll pull that first try every single time. Damn it, come on! Oh my gosh. These summons, man, I got really, really lucky, bruh. I got super crazy lucky and pulled, like, everything I needed in two multis in the last summon video that I did, so... It's been a very long time since I've experienced the despair of just fishing, dude. Like, hopefully it doesn't turn into a situation uh, like a like a fridge situation, like how some of these creators were spending thousands of dollars to get fridge, dude. Like, I'm not I'm not going that ham for Dragon Fist. I definitely am not going that ham for Dragon Fist. Like, if we run out of TP tokens, I just oh my god, bro, please just. Back-to-back -back Super Saiyan 3 Gokus again, and they're not giving me the shit, bro? Like, you're teasing me. You're teasing... Quit edging me and just give me the actual fucking... Okay. All right. All right. Uh, I don't know how many summons we have left. We still have quite a few left, at the very least. Um, so, hopefully we'll be able to pull him, y'all. Definitely let me know how you guys are... Oh, my God. Let me know how you guys are doing with the summons. I know it's early. I don't know if you guys will even have the opportunity to do the summons yet, but let me know how they're going for y'all. Also, uh, we didn't go over the dragons here, but it's nothing special. Like, we, we don't get any survivor skins or anything like that, so uh, it's just cosmetics and, you know, your, your general bullshit that they normally give us. 
Yeah. Ah, damn it. Beyond Super Saiyan? I mean, that's a tough skill to get, but, like, I already have it, so I don't care. Give me Dragon Fist! Give me Dragon Fist, please! Wait, is this banner gonna be here until August? Time out. Are we not getting another new set of transfers until actually when Ranked comes out? Because if we don't get a new set of transfers at all in July, that's definitely an L on Breaker's part, and I don't think they're gonna do that. That that would be that would be suicide for this game. I mean, that <laughs> wouldn't be the first time this game has committed seppuku. So, oh my gosh, bro, please. Is this a, is it a five, it has to, it's a five star ability, right? Like, that's why it's cucking me like this, because it's a five star? Yeah, right. That's what I thought. All right, so we have essentially four more summons to pull this. Um, I don't know if we're going to pull it, y'all. All the TP tokens I had, and it might not be enough. It genuinely might not be enough. Shinron? No. Okay. Um, nothing. I don't feel good about this one. Yeah, that the fuck, dude. This is troublesome, to say the least. For there to only be the one active skill, and y'all aren't going to give it to me? All the tickets I had, all the zitty I had, all the TP tokens I had. That, to be fair, I didn't grind. Maybe the game's punishing me for not grinding. Maybe that's what it is. That's that that's definitely what it is. Shinron, please. Fuck. Okay, y'all. I'm once again, I'm just gonna fly through here. Okay. Yeah, we didn't even get super safe. We're getting further and further away from the promised land. I this is not looking too good. This is not looking too good, y'all. We got two more. We got two more multis, y'all. Let's see if we can, in these last two multis, pull the active skill. I wish they at least had some type of pity system to where, like, you could try out the skills for a certain amount of, uh, like, say you say you put in, like, Super Warrior Spirit or Zenny. You could try out this skill for five matches or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they should have a pity system like that. Kind of like how Ultra Rumble does or did. Uh, before they fuck their pity system over, but this isn't the this isn't the one. No, might be able to do one more after this. Hold on, we'll see how much the TP tokens cost. Cause I think I have five dollars on my PlayStation card from PlayStation. Uh, no, no, it wasn't from PlayStation Stars. It was the extra money from when Trickster uh, got the DLC for me for Elden Ring. So. We'll see. We might be able to pull off one more multi if we don't get it here. But fingers crossed, praying to RN Jesus that we do get it. Are we? No. Fuck. Don't do this to me. Don't don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. No. <laughs> Oh my god, why are they playing me like this, bro? Okay, all right, all right. All right, so between Trickster and PlayStation Stars, we were able to get a little bit more. So we got two more multis, y'all. We got two more multis. If we can't get it in these next two multis, then we're not getting Dragon Fist. I'm just letting y'all know that we're not getting Dragon Fist. I'm saving the rest of... Well, I won't even have TP tokens, so any other resources that I have to summon, I'm saving for uh, the future banners, where most likely we'll, we'll be getting the Super Saiyan 4s, so. Uh, Dragon Fist looks cool, don't get me wrong, but at the end of the day, it's just Kyle can rush 2.0. Maybe that's just me coping already with not having it, but that's how that's genuinely how I feel about it. And it looks like you can get popped out of it, too, uh, if the raider hits you with the key blast. So it's not, like, super-duper busted or anything like that. Galactic Patrol Ship is literally better. So, um, copium aside, let's see if we can get in this last pool. Let's see if we can get it in this last pool. Please! We're not gonna get it. Yeah, my gamer sense was telling me we weren't getting it. 
We got Android 17 83 times, though, just in case you guys were curious about the Androids. L. Fuck you, Breakers. Fuck you, Breakers. Fuck you. So let's just go ahead and level up the skills that we got from... Um, I think they were both passive skills, actually. Yeah. You can't power it up. Revival time will not be affected by skills or the number of ally, uh, number of players reviving the ally. Okay, so it does not stack with first aid. It does not stack with first aid. Good to know. And we'll go ahead and favorite it too. I like that little noise it made. And then expert driver item recovery. Let's go ahead and get this here. All right, so we leveled those up. And this is pretty much the build. I'm going to be running sneeze, midair jump, expert driver speed boost, and then expert driver item recovery. Let's go ahead and throw on the new transfer and the new survivor skin. And we will go into practice real quick. And we'll just show off the Super Saiyan 3 Goku's new attacks and everything like that. As a matter of fact, before we do that... Let's just go ahead and see the super attacks that he has. Where is Goku? There you are. So it's Super Saiyan 3. He has Warp Kamehameha, which is garbage, by the way. They did buff it, but it's still bad. Super Kamehameha, and then just regular Kamehameha. So it looks like Super Kamehameha is going to be the most meta thing to put on Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So if his key blasts are bad, then we might be in for an absolutely mid transfer, y'all. Yep, and then there's the spot for Super Saiyan 4 right there. I accidentally queued in as the Raider first, so at the very least, we can just see what this is about. Where am I? So there's a 20 second cooldown there, Someone so you could just me. like hide pretty much. And then anytime you stop moving, they'll crouch down like this. And there's no outward indicator that this is, like, not a regular sieve. Um, you can't do key blast. You can melee. You do have an air melee. And pushing right on the D-pad, I'm assuming, is the same thing as pressing triangle. So we got somebody right there. Okay, so and it switches the body that you're in, too. So that's pretty cool. So we'll move sieves. But when you move sieves, clearly I haven't had that sieve already be infected. So when you move sieves, all right, you can't move to every sieve. It looks like there's a certain amount of sieves that are already just automatically infected. Yep, and the pressing triangle is the same as using right on the D-pad. Um, I wonder... I wish there was, like, is there? Okay, there is a constant indicator of the people that you have infected. Okay, so that that is that is a thing. So far, we've infected three people. This is actually a lot of people you need to infect to, um, to like, get out of your level one. So, uh, I think you need four bodies to get out of your level one. And then it sounds like there's an auto-evolve as well. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we'll, we'll also go over all of this in an actual video. <clears throat> okay, so when you max out this ability, you'll probably have four sieves and then you level up. Uh, but right now, five, it's definitely five sieves. Okay, okay. <laughs> and there's only a 10 second cooldown on that as well, so that's not that bad. So let's go ahead and get his level up. I look at all the people that there you just have infected. Like that just that just it just adds up. I do think that it's actually going to be kind of hard to get out of your level one as baby, uh, if you don't get any survivors, because I'm pretty sure it's just like two survivors. All right, then we got baby Vegeta. So, the people, like, the civilians that you infected, you can't call. Already infected, already infected. So, if you infect anybody as level 1, you can't call them as your level, your level 2. Which is interesting. I didn't think that's how it worked. Um, I thought that... Or unless I'm thinking of it wrong. We'll see. We'll see. Because maybe you can only call... 
We'll see. Hold on. Okay, so no, the 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 people that you can call like manually call out. The only people you can do that with is survivors' dead bodies. So that is good to know. I I definitely was misunderstanding that. I was thinking that the civilians that you uh, infect, you can call out as well. So that is definitely good to know. Um, at level two, it looks like it will take three survivors when you have the passive maxed out. And then his charge move doesn't have that good, good of distance on it. But if you land it, it looks like it's very, very good. And it's going to be easier to land now that they got rid of... Um, vanish vanish like spamming vanish like you can't you can't do this anymore as the survivor oh let's test out that new drop mechanic as well so yep so if you double tap x you'll just instantly teleport to the ground and then rising you do rise faster and then if you just press uh the crouch button you drop. I don't think that you drop any faster. It said that you did. I'm pretty sure it said that you did, but anyway. All right. So without it being maxed out, you definitely need four civilians. You absolutely need four civilians. Um, we could check out the area destruction as well, just to see what this looks like. There are still some of you remaining. Oh, yikes. I, I tried to time the bonus line, or the, the, the bonus points there. I went for bonus points. I should have just let him talk, because I don't know what the bonus points are. Uh, then this is Vegeta's technique, and then this is the Big Bang. So let's go ahead and get our level 3. And then we're not going to get our level 4, because we've all seen Monkey before. Um, I, I, I'm not too pressed. I mean, we could show off his area destruction, but I'm not too pressed about that. Also, as level one, you cannot open boxes. Before you die, allow me to show you the okay, so this is the... Is truly capable. And I think that if you have, like, people as survivors, they'll be the ones to be in that animation, which is kind of cool. But I could be wrong there. So now we're Super Baby 2. And then here's the revenge death ball. So you can't charge it. Like, you can't hold it. And then the final flash. And there's an AoE at the end of it. There's that move. And then you see how it changes directions. The get off me. And then the barrier. And then... Um, we'll just destroy this area. I will eradicate each and every one of you pathetic ass. And then... Nice. You could probably get bonus points here. Yeah, this is where you get your bonus points. So after he says Revenge Death Ball, that's where you time your voice line to get your bonus points. That's his regular key blast. Yeah, augmented key blast. Really, really good. All right, y'all. So there's that. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get his level four. And let's test out the Super Saiyan 3 as well all right y'all so let's go ahead and test out the key blast goku has at levels one two and three um we don't need to nice so level one he just has the kamehameha key blast we don't need to test out the super attack either because it's just super kamehameha nice i like her voice lines a bigger kamehameha that kamehameha is actually kind of huge and then at level three, is it just going to be an even bigger Kamehameha? Oh, it's just double. Super Saiyan 3 Goku fucking sucks. I'm saying it right now. Super Saiyan 3 Goku is an awful fucking super, or uh, an awful transfer. Super Saiyan 3 Goku is an awful transfer. All right, let's see if her saving animation is any different. No, it's not. Just the sneeze animation. And then we can also show off that vehicle passive that they were talking about. Yep. Oh, yeah. We can pick stuff up. Oh, look. And then there's a Dragon Ball. Um, I mean, you could, you've, you've always been able to pick Dragon Balls up in vehicles and shit, I'm pretty sure. But as you can see, it's in a destructible object. So it's going to be harder to read the Dragon Ball radar because you're not going to be only looking for boxes. But, yeah, guys. So... 
that is the uh, video. That's the overview. We are doing a marathon stream today, so once this goes live, we should either be already streaming or about to start streaming. Um, actually, let's see what her panicked state is like. Okay, so this is this is her panic state. Yeah, and then you can't roll out of the way of attacks anymore. You you can't roll out of the way of attacks anymore either. So, um, matter of fact, let's see. Let's. What? That is a huge nerf, y'all. Yeah, you can't, you can't spam vanish anymore. Whoa! That is a huge nerf. Look at how much time is fucking in between. And it's not like, oh, you're just not doing it right. Like, that, that is an, that is a huge nerf. That is a huge nerf there. And then you can't drink while you're transformed anymore either, so. Uh, very unfortunate for survivor mains, but definitely a W buff, or a W nerf for raiders, so. If you guys like that one, definitely leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I will be seeing you in the marathon stream. Make sure you tune in for that. It's been real. It's your boy, Lee the Warlord. And I'm out of here. Peace.